Dan. We praise you, Father. We praise you for all that you have accomplished in us and through us. We praise you for what you are about to do this day. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming, and guiding, and directing, giving us the wisdom and counsel, counsel that is needed for this time and this hour. So we thank you for empowering us with your words and your ability to send forth that which you would have sent forth to be accomplished this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have we, what we've been working on this week is Kathleen Mitchell's list of prayer points. I sent her initial prayer points out and we worked on it on Monday in the Room of Atonement. And then we, um, I gave the assignment that we were going to continue doing it today using the um, Room of Supplication and the Court of Decree. And I, I really want to make it clear, you know, when we're in the different places in heaven, there's different functions and we function differently. We know the Room of Atonement is the place of repentance. It's asking for forgiveness. This is where we're confessing and acknowledging our guilt before the Lord. And the blood is there and the blood cleanses us of all unrighteousness. When we step into the Room of Supplication, we're stepping in as priests. And we are supplicating on behalf of people, individuals, our families, our nations, our tribe. We're supplicating. We're going before the Lord and we're asking. And remember, it's with prayers and supplications. We make our requests known to God. And this is where we make our requests known to God, is in the room of supplication. Then in the court of decree, we step into our role as kings. And we begin to decree. And from this place, we are decreeing what God would have us decree. These are not decrees that are coming out of our own understandings and our own desires. These are decrees that are coming from the very heart of God. So when I was in preparation today, I, as I said earlier, I was in the book of Jeremiah and I'm in the places where it begins the judgment of the nations, the judgment of Moab, the judgment of Babylon. And as I'm going through this, I realize these judgments, these decrees can be released from this place. And so the, um, we, will, we will be doing these decrees as a place of releasing. And as we decree, we decree a thing and it is established. If the decrees are coming and the angels of the Lord hear the voice of the word of the Lord in what we're speaking, they are hearkening and obeying our voice. That's why it's so important to use scripture and decrees. And remember, in Psalm 149, it talks about, let the high praises of God be in your mouth and a two-edged sword in your hand. And it talks about judging the kings and the princes and the rulers with the judgments that have been written. The judgments that have been written that are in scripture, we can use very effectively against the powers of hell against those principalities, against those um, individuals who are the puppets and who are the henchmen of the will of hell in the earth. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So um, I hope you're excited and you're gonna be ready to begin. Okay, we're going to go back to gallery I'm gonna <laughs> and Judith you're gonna do the praise okay thank you oh father we thank you mighty God we thank you we thank you father we thank you Jesus we thank you Holy Spirit yes we thank you the three in one and one in three we thank you for just giving us life Amen. Yeah, life this day, the, at this time, this is the best time for us to be here, oh Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, mighty God, 
for we have been born for a time as such as this, Lord. We bless your name. We thank you. We thank you. Yes. Mighty God, we thank you that we have for putting clothes on our back, shoes on our feet, shut over our heads, oh Lord. We thank you for putting food on our table. We thank yes. you, mighty God. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our children. We yes. thank you for our bloodlines, mighty God. We thank you for the work you have done, you are doing, and you continue to do in our bloodlines, oh Lord. Amen. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, mighty God. We are so grateful. We yes. thank you for doing it in our nation, in America, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing in our land, mighty God. Thank you for what you're doing in the nations of the world, mighty God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, mighty God, for shaking everything that needs to be shaken, oh Lord. Yes. Thank you for shaking it, mighty God. We thank you. We thank you, mighty God, for invading the darkness that has engulfed the whole world, oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh Lord, for saving us, for delivering us. We thank you. We thank you for the children, mighty God. Your heart that is for the children, mighty God. We thank you for the rescue operation that you that, that you're carrying out, mighty God. We yes. thank you, mighty God, for the host of angel armies, mighty God, that you have dispatched, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for leading us, leading us in victory, in mind-boggling victory, yes. in victory that we cannot even imagine possible, Amen. oh Lord. We thank Amen. you. We are so grateful. We thank you that we can gather here. We can come before you, Almighty God, in this third heaven. Come before you, O oh Lord, and, and, mm -hmm. and make supplication, O oh Lord, and make decrees. Father, we thank you for this privilege, mighty God. We thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so grateful, Lord. We thank you <laughs> for your power that is at work, O oh Lord, on display, O oh Lord. Come confirming your love, affirming your love for us, Almighty God. You did not spare your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, you are not going to spare anyone else concerning us, oh Lord. So we thank you, we thank you, we thank you that you love us that much, oh Lord. We appreciate you, mighty God. We are so yes. grateful for yes. all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will do for us, oh God. Thank you so much, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. Okay. We shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before us. There will be shouts of joy and the trees of the field will clap their hands. Oh, Lord, we are full of your praise. We are full of your glory. You reign on high and we sit with you in heavenly places through yes. the blood of the Lamb. We rejoice. We rejoice in our position we rejoice in the blessing of salvation we rejoice in the blessing of adoption and we praise your name yes. we praise your name this is the day that the lord has made we shall be glad and rejoice in it because yes. you alone do great things and we trust in your arm hallelujah hallelujah yes. to the lamb yes. of glory we yes. worship you, Almighty God. There yes. is none like you. Micha mocha boelim ne darba chodesh. Noro te ilo te se fele. Hallelujah. Who is like you, O oh Lord? Who is like you in all the world? There is none like you. Amen. You are righteous and powerful in holiness. Blessed are you, doing wonders in the earth. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God, to the Lamb of glory, yes. who reigns on high and who stands with us in the courts of heaven as our high intercessor and our partner. Hallelujah. Yes. We worship you, mighty God. Yes, we Lord. Worship you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Yeshua. Hallelujah. 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 Does anyone want to add to the praises? Yes, Lord Jack, uh, Jackie, I want to I want to praise the Lord for truth. Amen. Praise him for his word because yeah. he puts his word in our mouths. He makes it easy for us. He does the work for us. And 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 I want to thank you Lord for your holy spirit. Because your Holy Spirit prays through us. Oh, thank you, Lord, that, that you look after us tenderly and gently, just as a father does. And you put your words in our mouth and you give us words to decree. 
we yes. we thank you lord for that in your mighty name amen we thank you father anyone else anyone else Trisha? we thank you we thank you for the broken body of jesus christ thank you father but father we praise you i will praise god hallelujah we praise you daddy you are good god we praise you for your faithfulness lord we we praise you for your awesomeness we praise you for your love daddy we praise you we praise you for for peace we praise you for joy <laughs> we praise you daddy we praise you you are mighty king we praise you for the favor that you have given unto us lord we praise you for you brought our soul out of the grave we praise you for you have kept us alive oh god we praise you you have not left us Ah, you have not forsaken us. We praise you. you have not forsaken the nations of the <laughs> you have not forsaken the nations, oh God. We praise you. We praise you for your love for the nations. We praise you for healing daddy. Ah, ma, so for yama sign. We praise you because you are our rock. We praise you. <laughs> praise you, Jesus. You are the lily in the valley. You are bright and morning star. We praise you this day. King of kings are you. We praise you. We exalt you, daddy. We exalt you. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good, God. We praise you, Father. You are good, Father. You are good. You are good. We praise you for strength. Oh. We praise you for strength even this day, Lord. We praise you, Father. Marvelous are you. Wonderful are you. Excellent are you, Daddy. You are mighty. We praise you for your mightiness. There is no other like you. There is no other mighty God like you. We praise you. We praise you. You are lifted high. Oh, you are lifted high, Daddy. You are lifted high. King of kings. Ah, rock of ages. You are rock of ages. We praise you. We praise you, Daddy. We praise you. Ah, thank you. Thank you because you are our refuge. We praise you because you have been our refuge. You continue being our refuge. We praise you are our hiding place. We yeah. praise you for yeah. giving us the hiding place. <laughs> oh, we hide in you. Thank you. We praise you for your wings, Lord. We hide. Thank you. We praise you. We praise you for you are the voice of truth. You are the voice of truth. We praise you. We praise you, Father. Marvelous are you. Oh, you are enthroned. You are enthroned. You are enthroned as a king of kings. You are enthroned as a king of kings. We praise you. We praise you. You are everlasting thrones, Father. Endure us forever. <laughs> We praise you, Father. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all praise, Daddy. You are worthy of all praise, Father. You are worthy of all praise. Oh, we praise you. We glorify your name and we lift you on high. We lift you on high, Daddy. Oh, we praise you. We praise you in oh, Jesus' name. Father, I Amen. Amen. That we've come through your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise we are honored that we can enter into your courts that we have a way through jesus christ we're going to go with permission to enter into the the room of supplication to supplicate on behalf of the nations of the earth the people of the earth to set them free Father, we want to set them free. We want to see freedom being released. Freedom being released, Father. Freedom being released. We begin by asking for an anointing upon your people. Everyone who is known by your name. Every leader. Every person in the body of Christ 
that you would release it upon them, release upon all of us, release upon all of them a holy shutzpah, a boldness, that spirit of boldness that you anoint us, that you pour out upon your remnant, pour out upon your body, pour out upon your people from the least to the greatest among us. Such a boldness to stand and to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Such a boldness to declare truth. I thank you. I ask for this boldness now. I ask for that anointing of boldness that holy boldness to be upon your people, to be upon your remnant, to be upon each of us, to be upon each of us. This is what I'm asking, Father. Father, we desperately need boldness. We need boldness instead of a spirit of a timidity. You promised you did not give us a spirit of timidity, a spirit of intimidation, but you've given us power, love, and a sound mind. So, Father, I thank you that your body is going to pray and to speak with power, love, and a sound mind. We thank you for a sound mind being upon your people. Okay. What I'd like to do as we go through this, just pick one or just take the next one, put your hand up and just begin to ask for it, okay? All right, next, you got the paper in front of you? Mm -hmm. Okay, Rita. Father God, we ask that you would scramble and confuse the messages of the liars. Lord, I just pray that you would confuse their communication, confuse let the right hand not know what the left hand is doing. And I pray that they would betray one another, Lord, that they would tell on each other, um, that they would come against each other and that they would just be completely in confusion that they would, they would show their hand, that there would be nothing um, come through that they desire to do, that they would completely be confused and thwarted in all that their plans are, that everything would be thwarted, Father. Let them be confused, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I was out of order. I'm really sorry on that. <laughs> Father, we pray for the voices of the truth tellers throughout the nations. We ask that the voice, voices of the truth tellers become louder, bolder, stronger, and that there be an anointing of influence upon them. Anoint their voice, the sound of their voice, with an influence that gains the attention, causes people to pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. The voice of the truth tellers in the spirit and in the natural, may it be louder, stronger, and more influential. This is what we ask, Father. Amen. Amen. I was praying for the liars. I don't know if I said that, the, those that were opposed. Are we, should we be recording, Jackie? Aren't we? Yeah, we're recording. What is? We're recording. Okay. Um, um, if you're doing the liars, did you pray to scramble and confuse their message? That's what I did. Yeah, I just forgot to mention the liars, I think so. Yeah, go ahead and redo that one. Okay. 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 Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would scramble and confuse the messages of the liars. Those who have come against you, those who have come against the people of this world and this country, Lord, those who have cons conspired to cause people to come against you and to, and to be taken down to hell, Father God, we ask in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would set them against each other, that they would betray one another, that you would scramble their, their communication, um, that they would not know what the right hand, the right hand would not know what the left hand is doing, Father, that they would they would be completely in confusion, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask this. Father, I ask that they begin to destroy each other with friendly fire. That they turn on each other just as they did in the Old Testament when they went out to battle. Mm -hmm. That they would hear a sound, that they would hear something that would cause them in such fear to respond. And they would turn on one another in such a destructive, destructive force. 
that they would destroy the influence of one another. Amen. Next, this is the one to expose the money trails. Okay, let me do it. Okay, thank you, Janice. Father, I ask that, O oh Lord, that you expose the money trails and all the hidden communications, contracts, and, co and manipulations of the World Economic Forum and all the members of this group, particularly as they connect with world leaders in government, business, media, pharmaceutical companies, and other places, O oh Lord, and other industries. Mighty God, we ask you, Lord, you are seeing the agenda that has that, that they have put together against you, that they have conspired against you again, against your people. So Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you expose them and make an utter failure, defeat and disgrace of them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you. Amen. Where I ask that every trading floor be disrupted. And I ask, Father, that the people of this earth, the people in the nations would see, would see the wickedness of the trading floors, the wickedness of the money, the billions and trillions of dollars of money that have been sucked out of the nations of the world by these vampires of death. Oh, Father. I ask that eyes open, eyes open throughout the earth, eyes open their eyes, open the eyes of the people, Father, open the eyes that they can see, that they can see the truth. Amen, Father. Oh. Janice, would you continue with the next one on Bill and Melinda Gates? Okay. And Lord, I also ask that you will utterly expose and dismantle the Bill and Melinda Gates Institute's foundation and companies, turn their influence into dust. I pray for Yahweh to bring judgment against all the evil global humanist, socialist, elite, um, elite, um, elite individuals and endeavors, oh Lord. You know each and every one of them. You know how they meet, you know where they lay their heads, you know how they rise up, you know how they go through the day. Mighty God, you know all of them all over the world, wherever they are hidden. Mighty God, you know the fortresses they've built around themselves, the hedges they've built around themselves, oh Lord. You know where the resources come and you know how they spend it on, the, on evil agendas. Lord, we ask that Father, you know inside out everything, that mighty God, you begin an order implosion you know, that will explode to the whole wild world, mighty Amen. God, that there will be other implosion of their, their structures, their industry, their companies, their, their foundations, oh Lord. Every facade they have put up, every structure of if they have put up, mighty God, that you dismantle it and bring it down, Lord, Amen. to the honor and glory of your name, in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. Amen. Um. I ask that the vaccine distribution be stopped in the nations of the world in a single day. If you could stop the sun for Joshua, you could stop this agenda of death on behalf of the people of the world. I want it to stop. I want it to stop, Father. I want life saved. I want those women who, oh, the, the women, the young women to be protected, to be protected from the loss of their ability to bear children, Father. Oh, Father, this is what I'm asking. I'm asking for you to stop it. You who are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, we stand here in agreement, touching the wickedness of this vaccine and its distribution to the nations of the earth. It's global genocide, Father. It's global genocide, Father, and I ask that you stop it. Stop it in a single day, just like you stopped the sun, just as you opened the Red Sea and you swallowed up Pharaoh's army. I ask that you stop, stop this. 
way of destruction and death and the nations of the earth. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, who wants to do next? Okay, Judith. Father, we pray that the perpetrators, we ask that the perpetrators of these lies to be are held severely accountable, including the government of Israel, who actually falsified a report that this vaccine was approved by the FDA. And it is in and every person who was involved in prospering these lies and the agenda, let them be severely uh, um, held responsible and 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 make restitution by way of renunciation and apology for their lies for their deceit for their partnership with death with, with, with this death march father we ask that the perpetrators of these lies be held in account by your host of heaven so that they have no rest, they have no peace, that they suffer agonies until they renounce their lies and their agendas. The Shem Yeshua. Amen. Okay. I pray that the Lord will bring forth the definitive evidence, all the evidence, all the evidence that has been hidden, all the research that has been hidden, everything that has been hidden, Father, and all the manipulation of research. I just read that they stopped their um, ongoing testing. The test samples, those people, they've stopped it all. They don't want any results. All the definitive evidence. And that this evidence, Father, that's going forth, the evidence, Father, the evidence of people who are dying so quickly and becoming paralyzed so quickly and developing blood clots so quickly after receiving the vaccine. And this, Father, is only those who have an immediate reaction. But Lord, what about all those who will be exposed to the wild virus and will have go into a cytokine storm because of the death that's been set up within them with the spike protein. Father, I'm asking for it to be revealed, to be revealed, to be revealed, and that you bring it forth, and that, that this whole conspiracy, and that you, and you, only you, the way only you can do it, you bring it forth in the voice of a man, a voice of women, that the populations of the nations will recognize and accept that this has been a wicked conspiracy that's been played, that's been worked orchestrated against the nations of the earth to kill their to kill their children to kill them it is mass genocide father it is mass genocide just as there is the genocide of the jews in world war ii this is the genocide of the nations father <laughs> oh i beg father that you stop the genocide Stop the genocide, Father, on the behalf of the children and the babies and the young teens and the teenagers and the young wives and mothers and the young men and fathers. Be happy. Cousins on behalf of the aunts and the uncles on behalf of the grandparents and the grandchildren, Father. Of all the nations of the earth, I supplicate before you. And I say, Father God, in your great goodness, stop this genocide now. Oh. Who wants to pick up the next one? I will. Okay, Angela. Hallelujah. Papa, we pray in your name, Yahweh. We ask you to cause the populations to be shocked and horrified when the truth comes out. Oh, we ask you, Lord, to remove the blindness from their eyes and the deafness from their ears. So when the truth comes out, 
they will not call it fake news, but Lord, that they will be horrified and they will run to you. They will seek you for their answer. We pray, Father God, that those of us that are awake will be ready to minister to them with your love, with your compassion, with your mercy, with your truth. And Lord, we would release healing to their brokenness and to their confusion. Father God, we thank you that your mighty anointing will fall on those that are open to truth so that we can release it to those that are hurting, those that are blind, those that have been confused, especially those who have lost loved ones by taking this vaccination. We say, oh Lord, open the eyes of the people of the world so that they may see the deception and come out and run into your arms in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. We cry out. You're, you're the one that draws all men to you. We cry out that you will pour out such a convicting power, such a magnet like moths to a flame that the people, the people instead of will come running to you and you alone. Running to you and you alone is the only place of safety. We thank you for that, Father. Oh. Jackie, can I supplicate from the word for that? Yes, yes. In Psalm 9. Lord, you said in Psalm 9 that you would be a refuge. You are a refuge for the oppressed. You said you're a refuge in times of trouble. You said those who know your name put their trust in you and that you have not forsaken those who seek you. We stand on that word, Lord. You said, you said that when we declare his deeds among the people, when we declare your deeds, when we, when we become truth tellers, when we are truth tellers, you avenge blood. You remember those people and you don't forget the cry of the humble. Lord, you are the one who avenges. Vengeance belongs to you, Lord. And as the fear of God falls on the nations, Lord, we see those who have done the wrong thing. We see them um, coming under the fear of God. And we see the truth tellers telling your truth. We ask you to have mercy on us, Lord, and consider our trouble from those who hate us. Lord, right now, the truth tellers are being hated by many, many people. You, you say you lift us up from the gates of death that we may tell all your praise. Lord, we rely on your word. We know that your word is true. And we know that we will rejoice in your salvation. Amen. And we know that the nations that have sunk down in the pit which they made, they're going to be, their own feet are going to be caught and you are going to execute your judgment and that the wicked are going to be snared in the work of your own hands, of their own hands. And as we remember your word, Lord, we know it's true. And we know that you lift up the humble. You're going to beautify a humble people. You're going to beautify the truth tellers. And you're going to lift up the humble and bring down the proud. And we thank you for it, Lord, in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Who else wants to take one? Okay, let me take the next one. Okay, thank you. Janice, take think... that one and do the next two or three, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask you, Lord, to give, give us focus and clarity. Give your church focus and clarity. Give your ecclesia focus and clarity. Give your truth tellers focus and clarity, oh God. Give us focus and clarity as well as this, um, a desire to dig out the truth, to encounter the lies, to, to counter the lies of propaganda. You know, give um, in, even individuals, you know, focus and clarity and the desire to search out the truth for themselves, mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the light of your truth shine to all, mighty God, all over the world, all over the nations, Lord, let the light of your truth shine. Um, the darkness cannot comprehend it, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we renounce and reject the life of ease and comfort that has been convincing us to take the path of least resistance, Lord. 
we, 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 we renounce it, mighty God, and receive your grace to walk the path that you have for us, Lord, even in this time, mighty God. And also we renounce and reject greed and unholy power as having any authority over of our lives, of our lives, mighty God. We reject it. We do not want any greed. We do not want the lust for power, mighty God. We want humility, mighty God. We receive your love and humility, O oh Lord, um, at work in us and at work through us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, I ask that you give us an endowment. You endow us with a passion and a love of the truth. Endow us from heaven. We have need of an endowment. We live in a land of lies. We live among a people who lie. We are surrounded by lies. So we ask for a special endowment of your grace to love truth. And we ask that you give us the power to defend it, to defend the truth. By the way we live, by what we speak, by what we do. Father, I thank you for this. I thank you for endowing us with the love of the truth, with the power, with the power, with the, with the power. Father, it's an empowerment that comes from on high. It's an endowment, it's an empowerment, and we have need of both, Father. We are in need of both. Thank you, Lord. Um, Rita, I think this is a good one for you. The next one. Um, About, oh, the rage and anger. The rage and anger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Father God, we just ask that you would take away our rage and our anger concerning this conspiracy. And it is a conspiracy against your people, Father God. And we ask that you would deal with the wicked ones. You are the one who takes revenge, Lord. You are the one who, who meets out justice. And we ask that you would do that and that you would show us how to respond, Lord, what we should do in our stand against him, Father, but that we would, we would not be overtaken with rage and anger, Father God, but that we would allow you to, to do the justice, that, to dispense the justice that you want to, Father God. The justice that needs to be dispensed will be done by you. You will take revenge. It is not our job, Lord. Father God, I just pray that we would continue to have a right heart attitude towards them. And we ask that we just thank you for it. Father God, we thank you. Who wants to do the next portion? These are a lot of asking important things for the coming revival. I can keep going if you want. Do we not, excuse me, do we not have the paper? Is this the problem? Does everyone have the paper or not? No, I don't have the paper, Jackie, but I've got scripture. Okay. Do you have it, Yusra? She's frozen. Do you have it, Pramud? I have it, but it's it's better if the English speaker. Okay. Okay. Do this, uh, Christina, do you uh, have it? Okay, Christina, I want you to pray now. The next ones. Where it says, ask for a passion for the loss. Start there and go down through those four asks. For, for the loss. Okay. Oh, Father, we ask. Oh, Lord, my heart goes out, Lord, for the loss. Not you will, Lord, for the anyone to perish. We ask God that you send your angels, the people of the earth, that this is now the high time to be awake. People can no longer putting their head on the sun, that everyone is in danger of this situation, Lord God. Amen. Father, we ask at this time 
that you would send the promised revival, the billion souls, the outpouring of your spirit, Father, that there would be an outpouring such as was prophesied by Joel, such as we saw in Acts 2, that there would be this outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the power, the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit, that would turn mere men and women into bold declares of your word that we would see the signs and the wonders and the miracles, Father. That it would be like the gate beautiful. It would be like the gate beautiful, Lord. And beautiful means, means now. At that now moment, Father, at the now moment for the miracle, we're asking for the now moments of the miracles, Father, that are going to set the lands and the peoples on fire when they see the wonders of what you're doing, Lord, that no one can deny. No one can deny the now miracles done by mere men and women. The now miracles, the now miracles, the now miracles, the now miracles. And I thank you, Father. Yahweh, 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 that you're making us one in him, one in Jesus. We're one, we're one, we're one voice, we're one heart, we're of one mind. You're making us one, just as John 17 said. Mm -hmm. They're going to know us by, by our love. They're going to know us by our unity, Father. So make us one, Father, in a way that we have never seen. Make us one, Father. Oh, and Father, release upon your body, your people, your remnant, the joy, the hope, and the vision that we have need of in this hour and for the future. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Okay. Father, we ask <laughs> that you give us it was the revival and the awakening, Lord. I'm asking for your mercy, Lord God. <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, Lord. We need revival and awakening, Father. Yes. Yes. Lord, Philippines are waiting, God, but we can't go there. So, Father, I ask that oh. the pastors and leaders, Lord, to be awakened too, Lord. Yes. This is the hour when the young people are crying out, Lord, to see the manifestation of your glory. Lord, they are yearning. <laughs> the people are yearning. Young people are yearning, Lord. Even in my own nation, God, they want to see your glory. They want to see revival. Yes. yes. But God, we see what can see. Many of us wants to go out, but we are being hindered, Lord. So God, we are trusting, Lord. Those pastors, those leaders, evangelists are now moving into that power, power and authority, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Thank you that you are going to give us the revival and the awakening that we need, Lord God. Look at them, Lord. Look at them. They are ready to come forth. They are ready to worship you, Lord God. They are ready, Lord, for the name of the Lord God. is a stronger. They are ready to come forth, Lord. They are ready to know you, Lord God, as their Lord. And save you, Lord God. Amen. 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 Father, we ask that you would give us discernment to recognize all lies and the strategies to counter them. Father, we ask that the Holy Spirit would open our eyes to see the lies and know the strategies of how to counter each and every lie 
as you gave Daniel the wisdom, we are asking for that same wisdom that Daniel had so that we can declare these lies as false lies, false strategies of the enemy to keep us depressed. I ask for the anointing of encouragement and strength to us to become overcomers in his spirit together as one. Yes. We need the anointing. We need the encouragement. We need the strength. We need the boldness. We need to be overcomers, no longer satisfied with just getting by. But we are overcomers. And I ask that you place within us a renewed spirit of overcomers in us so that we can stand against the onslaught of the enemy, his strategies, and counter them with your word. Amen. Amen. And I ask that you prosper those who are dismantling and exposing the lies, that you put a shield of invisibility around about them, that the enemy cannot destroy them, and take them up before their time. Amen. I ask Yeshua to forbid any obstacles, obstructions, ploy, ploys of the enemy from stopping the emergence of truth into the public forum. Amen. We are cutting off. Yes. We are asked that you cut off yes. those lying tongues of the news media. Yes. We ask that you cut them off and silence their tongue. Remove their tongue so that they cannot speak any longer, Lord. We ask for these lies to be stopped now and forever from the news media, from being the, the voice of the enemies to cause the fear and torment of the people in, on the earth today. In Jesus' name. Father, I ask the children begin to cry out and say, the emperor has no place. The emperor is naked. The emperor is speaking foolishness. That there is not, they just recognize that it's the children. The children that listen and say, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. This is foolishness. And that the people begin to laugh at the foolishness of what is being spoken. And with such straight places, Father, with such straight faces, such bald face lies, Father, that it just be so outrageous that the people begin to laugh in their faces. Thank you. Thank you. Father, I thank you. I ask for divine wisdom. I ask for patience. Oh, Father, we have need of patience in this hour. We know everything's shaking. We can feel the shaking, Father. We know that there's earthquakes happening all over in the natural. And these same earthquakes are shaking in the spirit. They're shaking, they're shaking foundations of darkness. So give us the patience to hide and watch as we see and the discernment to know that it's happening, Father, that we don't we just discern it, we just know it. I thank you for that. Oh that this wisdom, patient, and discernment, it just be part of our directing, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of patience, the spirit of discernment, and it direct all our actions and our words. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Father, I pray to bring us your peer, wise leaders in our government, in all institutions and agencies to replace the wicked. He who rule over men must be just, but we're not seeing that, Lord God. So, oh Lord, we, I'm asking, Father, the removal of corrupt politicians. I'm asking, let their days be few. Let a righteous person now take over. Amen. You wanted to pray? Go ahead. Judith. Unmute. Finally, O oh Father, we ask for an immense endowment of your divine love to sustain us, 
to infuse everything that we do, to distinguish us as Jehovah's servants, warriors in the coming days. Let everything that we say and do be motivated by the love of Jehovah, that we not come in an attitude of anger and malice against these enemies, but that in the love of the Father, we speak only the truth of your word to bring down and take off the head of every serpent uh, with forked tongues that would try to hold the world captive. Pray for us. We pray, O oh Lord, to be given the mindset of victors in against an agenda which seeks to make us, make us casualties and victims. We are not. We are not. We will not take on the identity of victims. We Amen. are overcomers through the blood of Yeshua, but we overcome through the love of God that is irresistible and cannot find any argument. Amen. Oh God, we feel rage and we feel anger, but replace it with your holy anger in love the love of those people who are walking as blind agents of the Antichrist, not knowing that they are dupes of the underworld. Amen. Give us a heart of love for them as we hold the line against the lies. Amen. Okay, Dan, you got one? Yep. Just judge of the universe, I ask that you would release righteous justice to go forth in this time and this hour. We are calling for the justice to come forth, your justice in this situation. We are asking and we are pleading our case before you to release true justice <clears throat> over this situation that has been instigated by the enemy, deployed by his false prophets and his servants, we are asking that justice be served this day. Helen, you said you had scriptures. Do any of your scriptures work with this? Or yes. Are they yes. Arise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why do the wicked renounce God? He has said in his heart, you will not require an account. But you have seen, Lord, you have seen. You observe trouble and grief to repay it by your hand. The helpless commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man, Lord. Yes. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. Yes. You are king, Lord, forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, Amen. that the, the earth may oppress no more. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let the nations sink down in the pit which they have made, in the net which they hid, their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the just judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish. Arise, O Lord. Do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 Anyone else have a request? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, Janice, go ahead. Father God, I ask that um that the um the resources and the wealth transfer, oh Lord, from the wicked be given to your um to your stewards, Lord, that you have appointed for that for a time as such as this to fulfill um to um finance your work, the Lord, at this time, mighty God to finance the um, the harvest, to finance it, and to finance all the other things that you've called us to do, mighty God. I ask that that wealth transfer, let it begin now, be taken away from the wicked and transferred to your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You, sir, would you like to pray in French? Oui, 
Et Seigneur, je te demande de réveiller que toutes les personnes qui se sont levées, Seigneur, dans, sur cette terre et qui ont, euh, qui ont apporté ta parole, qui ont déclaré la vérité, Seigneur, je demande à ce que leur voix s'intensifie et que le monde puisse l'entendre. Seigneur, que tous ceux qui courent après le vaccin, que tous ceux qui veulent être, euh, par la peur, Seigneur, protégés de, de ce virus, Seigneur, je demande à ce qu'ils puissent revenir à la raison, que tu ramènes, Seigneur, la vérité dans le cœur de toutes ces personnes. Seigneur, que, que tous ceux qui se sont levés au travers des médias, au travers de Facebook, au travers de, de, tout, de, tout, de tous les, les, les médias qui, qui sont possibles sur cette terre, Seigneur, et qui ont fait entendre leur voix, Seigneur, je demande à ce que leur voix ne soit pas ridiculisée. Je demande, Seigneur, à ce que leur voix ne soit pas euh, détruite, Seigneur, par, par des scandales, mais que tu les gardes, que tu les préserves, que tu les protèges, Seigneur, parce que tu, tu as mis dans leur bouche, Seigneur, la parole de la vérité, tu as mis la vérité dans leur cœur, tu as mis la vérité sur leur bouche, quel qu'ils soient, qu'ils soient chrétiens ou non chrétiens. Seigneur, tu as levé des hommes et des femmes, une armée, Seigneur, une armée pour défendre, pour défendre ton plan, pour défendre ta cause, pour défendre la veuve et l'orphelin. Alors, je te demande, Père éternel, Père éternel, protège ces personnes et permets que leur voix soit entendue. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Pramod, Sharon, Peace, Joy, Kim, do you have a request you want to make in this room? It can be for your nation, it can be for whatever is going on and related to what we're talking about. Rita? Um, I have one. Um, Father God, I, I come specifically for people that I know who claim to know you, Father God, who, are, who walk by your spirit and yet they don't see the truth of this conspiracy, Father God. And it just breaks my heart. And they're taking the vaccine and they're, they're being deceived, Father God. Lord, I just ask that you would bring your Holy Spirit into their lives to see truth of what's going on, that they, they would be able to discern what's true and what's not true, Father God, that they would not just write everything off as a conspiracy theory when they hear truth, Father God, but Lord, bring truth into their hearts and into their lives, I ask. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Anyone else? Sharon? Father, I come to you and I present all these evil that they have been doing against us, Lord. They have bragged among themselves. They have giggled, Lord. And they think they have won. But Lord, we put our hope in you. And we say that vengeance belong unto you. So we commit them in your hands today, Lord, with all their plans to destroy your people, their cruel, oppressive plans, Father, we put it in your hands. And we say, in your time, Father, you deal with them, expose them, and bring their work to dust in the name of Jesus. I give you thanks and give you praise. Amen. Amen. Janice? Yeah. Father, I ask again that Lord, um, that where that um, these lies have set us against each other, set families against family members, um, set um, parents against children, children against parents, friends against friends, brothers against sisters, sisters against brothers, set us even against you, your, you know, within the 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 um, the the family of Christ, you know, the body of Christ, you know, you set us against each other. Lord, I ask that Father, that you remove that division yes. and that you make us one and that mighty God, you will draw us to you with love, with your love that cannot be broken and that you will draw us to one another with your love that cannot be broken. Yes. And that mighty God, that your truth will bind us together, O oh Lord, that um, the spirit of God will hover over us and move mightily upon us, mighty God, bringing healing of relationships, O oh Lord, bringing healing um, 
to the damages that we've done with our mouth, with our words against each other, you know, and bringing healing to every way that we've injured, you know, one, one another, mighty God, and, um, and bringing us together, that we may stand together with you and stand together with one another, oh Lord, and fight against this evil that's trying to, um, to invade, uh, that has invaded us, oh Lord, so that we will prevail by you, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Ramud. Father, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, mm -hmm. his people, O oh God, throughout the nations, like Nehemiah, who will have redemptive burden for the nations, O oh God. We, we ask you, O oh Father God, to raise ambassadors who will be acting as an extension of your your work, an extension of your hands, O oh God. Lord God, we ask for a rhythm to work to happen throughout all the nation and in throughout all the creation, O oh God. Redeem the sun, the moon, the stars and constellations, O oh God. Redeem the entire creation. Lord, we ask for people to come again to come up with boldness boldness like lion of judah boldness O oh god to speak your word to stand and confront and also father god that nations should uh, the people in the nations should gather together in one accord to be obedient to you and to be obedient to your word as jehoshua hamashia himself humbled Humbled himself to be obedient to you in a similar manner. Wake your people in the body of Christ to be humble to you, O God. In the name of Yahushua, we have prayed. Amen. Father, I ask specifically the consequences of the vaccine in the bodies of those whom you love, that you would mitigate it. I put you in remembrance of our court case where you said to deactivate the spike protein. I ask, I ask that you, I put you in remembrance. I put you in remembrance, Father. You can mitigate it. You can mitigate it, Father. It's not our desire that any should perish. It's not our desire that any should perish before they come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And Father, Father, we, we just, we know that they're just ignorant and we just, we ask that you forgive them for their willing, for their willing ignorance. We ask, we ask that you forgive them for their pride, the pride of life that has them think that they are wiser and that those who believe in God are the fools. Oh, Father, I just ask that you forgive them. And in your forgive them, Father, spare their lives, I pray, so that they can serve you. This is what I ask, Father. This is what I ask. Oh. Joy, you're unmuted. Did you want to pray? Okay, yes, I'll pray. Father, uh, in the name of Jesus, I, I ask, Lord, for my friends also and my family members, Lord, and those who have taken the vaccine, Lord. Just as Rita prayed, Lord, I ask of the same, Lord, that this deceit, Lord, you remove this veil, Father, I request that is in their eyes that they cannot see the truth, Lord, that they think they are right, that they, are, they do not listen to what, you, or what you're speaking about, Lord. So I ask, Father, that you be merciful for those who have taken, Father. Even as Mama Jackie has prayed, I ask of the same daddy in the name of Jesus, and Father, I also ask for my nation of Kenya, Father. I ask that the church will arise, that the body of Christ will arise with the truth and they will speak up, Lord, that the nation will not perish, Father, that they, they, they're forcing people to take the vaccine. There is even lockdown, Lord, continuing. The children are not in school, Father. Many people's lives are affected in work. I ask, Father, for, oh. for your light. I ask for your light, Daddy, in our nation. 
I ask for the light, Lord, in the government. I ask that you shine your light over the president, Lord. Yes. That all these rules that, that he's implementing in the nations that are not yours, Father. I ask oh. that you will have an encounter with him, Father, specifically, Lord. Have an encounter with our president, the president of the nation of Kenya, the government, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I also ask uh, that the effects, Lord, of the people who have received or who have gotten this COVID virus, Lord, the, 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 this, it comes with this tiredness even after people have recovered, Lord. I ask, Daddy, that you will remove it in the mighty name of Jesus on people's bodies, Father. Yes. I ask for total healing, Lord, complete healing, Father. In the name of Jesus, complete removal, Lord, of every virus, of all these bacteria, Lord, and all the consequences and the effects on the bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank yeah. you, Daddy. Amen. You know, in Jesus' name. Peg your back on joy. Father, not just for Kenya, but for all the nations that are suffering. Yes. For all the nations that are suffering. For all the suffering, Father, that's going on in the different nations of the earth and the different families, Father, and all the loss, the loss of income, the loss of the future of the children as they're missing out on their prime learning stages. Oh, Father, I'm asking that all of the loss, that there be restitution for a recompense for all the loss, for all the loss, Father. I ask, Father, that the leaders in these nations would come into their right mind, that the mesmerizing lies that have been loosed against them to come into agreement with hell that this mesmerizing spirit would be broken off of them. I'm asking for the breaking of the mesmerizing spirits, the breaking of those deceptive spirits, the breaking, Father, of the spirit of fear, the breaking of the spirit of terror. Father, the breaking of the lie that healthy people are dangerous. Father, all the lies. All the lies, Father, I'm asking that you break the power of the lies. I'm asking, Father, I'm asking for the people, the nations of the earth, all the nations in Africa, the nations in South America, the nations in Asia, Father, in India, Father. Oh, Father, in the United States and Canada. North and South America, Australia, Europe, Eurasia. I'm asking for of all the islands of the Pacific, Father. Oh, Father, this is what I'm asking. This is what I'm asking for, Lord. Oh, set your people free. Set us free from the bondage of lockdown. Peace, go ahead. Father God, I'm praying for revival. I am praying for quick revival. Because Lord, some people are even misusing the vaccine, oh Lord. Some people are using, that, using it as a weapon. Other people are being poisoned and the world does not know. That people die within weeks or within months, just because they're being vaccinated and they're not given an option. Father, this is happening in some countries. We just ask for revival. Father, intervene. Only you can intervene. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Kim, do you have a prayer? Hopefully your sound is better. Uh, I, I'm driving right now. So okay. um, 
I'm gonna have to pass on that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I've got more scripture, Jackie, a prayer from scripture. Yes, go ahead, Helen. I think today's just gonna be the room of supplication. Mm -hmm. Psalm 12, this is <clears throat> help, Lord. We're praying your, your word back to you, Lord, because your word works. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone, with his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, and especially in the body of Christ, Lord. Amen. People who worship medicine and think they know the truth and they flatter other people with fair and flattering words to deceive the hearts of the simple-minded. Lord, cut off all flattering lips this and the tongue can. that speak proud things. Who yes. have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighings of the needy. Now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words. Oh, yes, they're not flattering words, Lord. They're pure words. Like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Yes. You shall keep them, O oh Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. Yes. The wicked growl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. But we are asking, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered in your mighty name, Yeshua. Amen, amen, and amen. And Father, we ask that you would not hide your face from us this time and this hour. Amen. In the, all the circumstances that are going on, we ask that you would raise your righteous right hand filled with justice for this time, this hour. So do not hide your face, but come forth. Come forth with your righteous justice. Amen. I ask that Jehovah Rapha would walk, would walk across the nations of the earth with healing, 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 releasing healing wherever he steps. Releasing healing for those who are suffering from the post-COVID syndrome. Father, I'm asking for total restoration. Total restoration, Father. And people's lives will not be hindered. The people's lives will not be stopped. They will not be called. They will be cured. But they will see the healing grace and mercy of God. Oh, Father, 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 oh, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. I have a, I have a prayer. Yes. Abba, Father, we cry out. We cry out for your protection for those who know and understand the dangers of this vaccination, Lord. We cry out for your protection. You have released Psalm 91. And Father God, we're praying that those who know better will not be forced to take this vaccination against their will. Mm -hmm. Father God, we're asking you to deliver, to deliver, Lord, from being this, being forced, being mandated. Father God, we thank you that you give the people that are standing strong against it, will not give in, will not, will not bow down to this tyranny from hell. For we know, Father God, you will intervene on our behalf. We cry out, Father God. And I pray for those who have been separated from their families because some have taken it and some have not. We ask for restoration, Lord. We ask for restoration. Bring healing, Lord. Bring healing to the families that have been separated by this lie, this 
I don't even know what to call the vaccination. It's a poison from hell. Father God, we ask you that you bring an end to this deception in the nations, that awakening comes, how diabolical this vaccination is. And we cry out for the people, Lord, all the people that don't know, but for the, especially those that are standing, Lord, that fear will not grip their hearts, that they would be strong knowing that they can run into the, under the shadow of the Almighty and you will keep us safe in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. And Father, I ask that you would remove the usurpers, those that have taken authority by lies and deception. Remove the usurpers. Remove the usurpers usurpers and silent them now that have been placing lies with truth to hold the people in captivity. We say no longer, no longer, Lord, let the usurpers control and manipulate the circumstances. Remove them, we ask Jesus name. Father, I ask that you strengthen those who are trying to stand, who are being pressured by family, who are being pressured by their own desires to travel, who are being pressured, Father, these pressures, the subtle pressures, Father, the subtle pressures that say, oh, it's not that bad. It'll be okay. I'll be okay. Father, just strengthen them with might in their inner man. Strengthen them with might in their inner man. And all those, Father, I ask that you have mercy on all those who are being forced to take the jab because of their work, because of their positions, school teachers and healthcare workers, Father, nurses and doctors who are bending to the will who are bending to the will. Expose, Father, I'm asking you expose the truth that this is not a vaccine. This is gene therapy, experimental gene therapy that violates the Nuremberg Code. I ask that that truth echo throughout the nation. This is, we're being used as guinea pigs. We're being used as guinea pigs. It's against the law of God and the sovereignty of our own bodies. We're being used as guinea pigs to destroy us. And we're, oh God have mercy, God have mercy, God have mercy, God have mercy, God have mercy. Oh Jesus. Hmm. Lord, I wanna lift up Dolores Carhill who has founded Freedom Airlines. I thank you for this voice of truth, Lord. I thank you for this lovely Irish woman who's also highly qualified and knows the truth about the vaccine and, and the plan of the global elite. Lord, we just pray that you would bless her, that you would prosper her, that you would make a way where there is no way, that you would surround her with wise counsellors and people who trust you and that they, Lord, will, will move forward into freedom and prove that freedom will prevail in your mighty name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Do we have any more supplications? Father God, I, I ask that the Prince of Peace will come forth to the nation of the earth from the north, the south, the east, and the west, Lord God. When you were born, Lord, the angel made an announcement, peace on earth, goodwill to all men. Lord, that is still your desire. You are Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. I pray for restoration restoration and healing of the mind, those who are walking in darkness, those who are walking in fear, Father God, let the light shine now, Jesus shine, Jesus shine in the earth, that is your will, Lord, we're calling forth your will, the God of Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace to come forth right now. <coughs> oh, Lord, many are fearful, 
Many are fearful, Lord. We call them forth to be an overcomer. We call them forth, God. God, I pray that they will stay. I am strong in the Lord, in the eyes of the understanding. Now will be open that you, O oh God, love them. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. Um, Pramud, would you do the bread? And Rita, will you do the cup? Pramod? Yeah. You're there. Okay. Father God, we thank you for the, the great sacrifice on the cross. We thank you, Lord, that Yahushua Hamashia died for us. He paid the price for all in full, for all sins, transgressions, and iniquities. As we partake into the body of Christ, O oh Lord, we partake into your covenant, which you have renewed with us, O oh God. We thank you and appreciate you, God, that you renewed the covenant. And this is the covenant which God made with God and renewed it with all the people. Your body was torn for us. It was bruised. The chastisement of our sins was upon him. And the torn body, what we eat, O oh God, brings healings, restorations. And Lord, we, as, as a body of Christ, representing for all of the world, we stand here to partake into your body, God. And being obedient to you, O oh Lord, as you have said in your word, and whenever you meet, partake into my body and partake into my cup. Lord, this body will take, Lord, let this work not only in us, but throughout the nations. Amen. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we have prayed. Yes. Amen. Rita? The cup? Unmute. Unmute. <laughs> <clears throat> Father God, we come before you and thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for, for spilling your blood that we could live, that we could have life, that we could have joy, that we could be part of your kingdom, that we can come into the fatherhood of God, that we can be your children, and that we can have life and live in your kingdom. Lord, we just thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice and for your grace. And we take it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we ask that every word <clears throat> that was spoken today be sealed for time and eternity. We ask that these words be recorded in the books of heaven. We ask that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heavenly places that is legally ours by right every eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the Word of God. We declare, according to Isaiah 55, 11, that every word in agreement with the will of the Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in, what, in the matter for which it was sent. We declare that the Holy Spirit's breath, Zoe life is upon these prayers. We declare that the enemy shall not release against our lives or our families any curses, counter curses, strategies, or retaliations against our health, marriages, children, grandchildren, finances, ministries, businesses, properties, destiny, or well being in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Before I Amen. stop the recording, did anyone see anything as we were in the midst of supplication? Yes, Christina. Uh, when you're praying about fear and pride, I don't know if you and that somebody, I saw the people 
uh, are in, in chains, both feet, that they're unable to move because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Okay. 